10 tips to boost your brain power. We have our memory, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, dementia, trauma, depression, and cancer. What do these all have in common? It involves the brain. It's our most important organ in our body that controls and coordinates our function. It is a complex organ that we are continuously learning about. We all have a brain, but I'm not sure if many of us actually uses it properly or to its fullest potential. It's still an ongoing debate as scientists and researchers have often said that we only use up to 10%. What we do know is that not everyone uses it and not everyone retains it. So why can't we learn something new with ease, like coming across a new language? Why do some kids do poorly in school? Or as we age, we tend to forget things. And why do people don't fully recover from brain damage? The solution is that all these factors point towards learning. Foods we eat, our emotional and psychological well-being, and exercising. These are the key factors to boosting your brain power. My story began when I became fascinated on researching the brain after overcoming a serious accident in 2009. I was knocked unconscious and sustained severe head trauma as a result of a car accident. This led me to relearn my vocabulary, speaking properly again, improving on my memory issues, and so on. So what limits or facilitates our brain potential? This is what I researched for many years on how to boost our brain power. So speaking from experience, I'm going to share my top 10 with you. Realize the power and potential of your brain. It is far more superior than a supercomputer. The potential of our brain is limitless and still unknown and year after year we are always hearing news of breakthrough of the brain since we decided to push those barriers. The brain can rearrange and reassign functions to a new part of itself if the old one is damaged. Adapt yourself on how you can use your brain to tap into the unlimited. Brain as a hobby. As soon as you commit to this, you are putting yourself similar to a child. You flourish and the brain flourishes as well. You want to absorb and learn as much as possible, constantly learning something new that you want to learn and improve upon. Use your left and right brain. Both are essential to really show your creativity both need to be balanced and need to be used equally. Both sides of the brain needs to be used in harmony to get its maximum potential. Good fats. Our brain is made of fat. What benefits our brain are? Wild sockeye salmon is a powerful antioxidant and one of the best brain foods. Sardines with bones is good since it has calcium. Also for those on a budget, it's low price. Macro, caviar. It has a reliable source of nutrients if you can afford it. Coconut oil is very good. It's a saturated fat. If cooking, then it should be on low temperature. Red palm oil is another good one. Avocado is excellent and has vitamin E. And eggs are also a good source. Yolks are filled with nutrients for your brain. Brain foods. Dark colored fruits have a pigment which boosts the neurons such as blueberries, blackberries, poisonberries, dark colored grapes, cranberry, muscadines is a grape native to Mexico and the southeastern US. Also, algae is a great superfood and is the most nutritionally dense food in the world. There is chlorella and spirulina. So generally we can say the color blue or purple is healthy for your brain and body. Other food sources can be walnut that even looks like a brain. And let's not forget about cheese seeds and that's very good as well. Unique sources. The number one brain supplement lion's mane mushroom is a fungi that contains compounds that rebuild the nerves. There are tons of herbs but I like brahmi, a traditional therapeutic herb native to India. Go to cola is an ancient herb found in India, China, Africa for its powerful medicine benefits, ashwagandha, a powerful herb and often referred as Indian ginseng. It belongs to the same family as the tomato. 
and there's holy basil and many more. These are all good for dementia and memory. All of these can also be taken tablet, capsule, or powder form. I'll put a list in the description section if you want to check it out. Spices such as turmeric is the number one selling substance to prevent brain inflammation in which you can put in broth, foods, or juices. People in India that consumed so much that there was an autopsy shown that their brain was either orange or yellow. Essential oils such as frankincense, cedarwood, lavender, and rosemary. It's so relaxing and a lot of diseases today are caused by emotional stress. So essential oil has powerful stimulation to your brain. You can inhale it or put it on your body. Exercise rewires your brain. We got puzzles, games, and problem solving helps raise your cognitive levels and helping it maintain its sharpness. It's brain training on a whole new level that improves your coordination with jigsaw puzzles. Working a puzzle helps develop your ability to reason analyze logical thought process and problem solving skills they also improve hand to eye coordination and also they are simply fun meditation helps you relax and lower your major stress levels called cortisol the best is to close your eyes and focus on your breath your breathing is very important and people we tend to breathe it very fast creating tension throughout the body so it's best to slow down your breathing the optimal type of breathing is diaphragm breathing. Most people under stress will breathe very quickly and with their upper chest and shoulders area. Diaphragm breathing is with your diaphragm muscles, in other words, your abdomen area. Simply 15 minutes a day will be beneficial. Yoga is also great. Now, if you're brave enough, start integrating breathing techniques with light movements will do wonders for your health. Give it a try and just let loose of yourself as you open those tight muscles in your body. Physical exercise is definitely a correlation with the mind-body connection as scientists have confirmed. An increased positive blood flow throughout the body is always optimal rather than a blockage. It enhances neurogenesis, the formation of new brain cells. Studies have shown it also reorganizes itself to handle stress better. The reason it's known to balance your hormones when you get your body moving. Social well-being. People are social creatures and you need to be connected with others in order to survive and live a healthy life. Those connected with friends are less likely to have depression, dementia, and so on versus those with no friends. Social media is good, however, it does not replace the real results of connecting with friends in the real world than in the virtual world behind your own computer. Listening to music can help improve your creativity and letting go of yourself that allows you to enhance your brain power. Specific types of music such as classical music such as Mozart gives you incredible results that's known as the Mozart effect. So music can help build your memory cognitive issues, and concentration levels. A result is rebuilding and creating new neurons or pathways. New things. Constantly trying new things to stimulate the brain and create new connections or pathways simply by breaking your normal routine. Try using your odd hand to brush your teeth or go one step further and brush your teeth in space same goes with writing and use your other hand learn a new language or even sign language it opens new neural pathways and has a huge impact on your cognitive skills sleep sleep is very important as it regenerates its cells and removes toxins during sleep not enough sleep will affect your learning and memory generally most people will be fine with seven to eight hours of sleep if others will let you get your Z's. And finally, behavior and attitude. Each day your behavior and attitude changes your brain. The uniqueness of your brain will affect you as a life student and teacher. The reason that one size doesn't fit all, what might work for me might not work for you. If it took me three months to learn a new language, it might take you three years. 
So what you learned from this video is that your brain will not be the same as before you watch this video. Each of you will have changed your brain in many ways. By understanding these patterns and differences, you are being shaped by what you do and also how it changes your brain. Bottom line, you have to be consistent and persistent to build a brain that you want because we all have that potential to excel if you only want to achieve it. Until next video, I'll see you then. Thanks.